hope you guys are watching this before you buy the Z1 Motorsports rear diff brace for the Infiniti Q50 Q60. I've been running this brace for several weeks now at this point on this Q50, uh, but go check out my original video, my unboxing and initial test and review uh, video for this diff brace. It's, uh, it's relatively short, but it gives some good insight if you haven't seen it already. But now at this point, I feel like I have a little bit of insight for you. I have, again, a few weeks of uh, driving on this vehicle on this diff brace. Uh, to give you a little bit of additional feedback. So just a little bit of additional context for you uh, in terms of what a rear diff brace or what it does. Uh, it essentially adds a little bit of rigidity. It helps you get your power more effectively to the wheels and to the ground. Uh, the rear diff bushings are made of rubberized rubber material with filled with some fluid and they're a little bit squishy and they're, they're made that way for a reason. They wanna give you a, more of a comfortable ride quality ride feeling. But under aggressive driving situations, um, your rear diff bushing can have a little bit too much play, uh, which can lead to wheel hop. For example, if you're launching your vehicle, uh, that flex, that rubber is going to compress and, you know, contract and expand really fast under those, uh, under that pressure. Uh, so that could lead your wheels to hop. And as those rear diff bushings age, they get a little bit softer, a little squishier, and sometimes even fail to where there's really no support for your rear diff. And that can lead to a lot of movement uh, in that in that particular part of your vehicle. So the rear diff brace is not a replacement for the diff bushing, but it can help add a little additional support. And that's the point of it. It's to reduce or eliminate that movement and therefore allowing you to more effectively get your torque to the ground. Let's take a look at some before and after footage of this diff bushing and the movement in the subframe and the rear differential and see what you think. like the tires actually spin a little bit easier going around a corner almost unintentionally um, because that torque's not being absorbed through the diff bushing it's just rigid so there's no flex so uh, it doesn't move around all that much just the tires just break loose I actually didn't expect to be able to feel it as much as I do uh, so that was kind of surprising and I said that in my initial video as well uh, it's just it's very apparent there's no weird noises or vibrations or anything, so there's no complaints there, but you can definitely feel the extra rigidity in the rear end, which again was a surprise to me. Not a bad thing. Now the diff brace is, I think, just over $200 from Z1 Motorsports. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, there is a second alternative that just came onto the market from uh, Burger Motorsports. Um, it looks a lot different. Um, it's kind of a bent piece of metal, uh, but it seems like it would do the same thing. Uh, my initial impressions just after seeing it released is I still would go toward the Z1 Motorsports for one thing. Z1 Motorsports is cast, one piece, uh, really solid, really substantial. It's it's not light, but it's not super heavy. It's not going to make all that much difference in terms of weight. But I really don't like bent metal. I think the one piece of the Z1 Motorsports, the one cast piece is, is a huge benefit. The other thing for Berger is that it mounts in the same place on the subframe above uh, at those two mounting points. However, it doesn't go between that angled bracket and the subframe. It goes below via a couple of spacers. I don't like spacers. Uh, it, it just kind of a long, ha, it requires that bolt to be a little bit longer and the bolt, you know, whether or not it can handle the additional force. I know there's a spacer in there. We're going to, we're going to have to dive in to the burger motorsports rear rear diff brace for the q50 at a later date uh, but i just wanted to let you know that there is an option available however just based on my original or my initial impressions of it i'd lean toward the z1 motorsports without a push
So I guess that's the question here for this video. Would I recommend the Z1 Motorsports rear diff brace for the Q50, Q60? Yes, absolutely. I, this is a part that's been needed for this platform. Uh, it, there are, you might run into a little bit of issue here and there during the install process, like I did, uh, where the bolt holes don't line up with your diff cover holes. <sighs> This is what happens when your diff bushings fail. Uh, they can sag, they can move a little bit. Um, you can jack it up a little bit with a floor jack under it. Uh, make sure you leave the wheels hanging. Don't put the car up on ramps, put it up on jack stands. That makes a difference. And you can kind of get it to finagle and move around and you know get bolts started here and there and kind of pull everything into place. That's my recommendation. Um, but again, this platform needed a rear diff brace. I didn't really experience any wheel hop before, um, but I wanted to make sure that the torque is being evenly distributed and getting to the ground effectively. When your car is not super fast like the VQ37, you need to make it as efficient as possible and make it so it's using every single horsepower and every single foot pound of torque that it's producing because those numbers are low. So we wanna make sure we use it all effectively. And this is just another one of those ways. Uh, in addition to your rear subframe bushing collars, uh, throwing the rear diff brace on there is just gonna add some of that additional rigidity reduce a lot of that flex so your torque and power is not absorbed through those soft bushing it's just it's just put right directly to the ground and you higher horsepower guys this is going to be beneficial as well it's just going to make sure that car squats down hard puts all that power down to the ground if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section below i'll get to every single one of them and help you as best i possibly can but check the links in, in the description go over to z1 motorsports take a look at that rear diff brace consider the things that they tell you in the description watch this video again if you need to and then make the purchase for just a couple hundred bucks 15 minute installation i think it's well worth it thank you guys very much for watching i appreciate the continued support more stuff coming for the q50 and the 350z as well so stick around thank you very much we'll see you in the next one